Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you think the lighting and everything is a little bit wonky, I bought a new camera. So I have sit here like for half an hour and tried to figure out the right settings for the camera. I don't know how this looks but this is the first video. If it is too... I want it pretty bright and pretty like crispy white but I don't want it too white but I hate when it's yellow and now I actually don't know I really hope it's good Um, today I am doing a first impression and it is with the killer pearl from Menardi Cosmetics and the palette looks like this and I don't like the name of this I can just be honest about that I don't like it um, yeah, and with the camera, <laughs> this is the first impression of the palette and on the camera. I'm like so warm because I've been sitting here for quite some time in the studio lighting and tried to figure this out. Please tell me what you think about the colors in this video because I don't know what you do for settings. I have me a lot and like at some point point you get like blind but yeah I am doing a first impression with a killer purr and the palette looks like this so it's 12 shades and this is why I bought a new camera I got out of focus now so happy about that so this is how the palette looks so it is 12 pants it's 12 colors and now it's like I am super white I have to try to figure this out. Maybe it looks better when it comes up to YouTube. I don't know. So, okay. I am going to do a first impression with this. And yes, I have swatched it a little bit. So, I don't really know what I want to do. I thought it was like, okay, I want to do something yellow. But then I was like, no, I want to do something dark. So, I will just have to see what I will do with this. Okay, and one thing I like don't know with the settings on the camera, I think I look so freaking pale, but at the same time, I guess I am this freaking pale. So I actually have no idea if I want to do something dark, if I want to do something light, if I don't want to do something matte, if I want to do something shimmer, but it is two shimmer shades, this Lioness and Prowl is probable and I think I want to do something with them but I don't like should I go the obvious way with this palette I don't know do we look a little bit small or is this okay I hope it's okay I think I maybe we will start with cub or do I or do I want to start with hunt or main okay, I will start with cub this one and put it on my on my crease, in my crease. Okay, if we are going to shed a little bit, but why should I shed about the camera when it's first impression? And do I have to? And this is maybe better. I've been a little bit nervous to use this palette because it feels like some people don't like it because I think it's a new formula on this, or if it's just. I can't like remember if they have said that hey this is a new formula or if it's just like people have noticed it and if you didn't know I have tried all the 12 pan palettes from Nartry. I wasn't that pleased with Dragon Child the first time I used it but then I used a different technique and then it worked so good so yeah, but like the whale song and feral palette, I have done like what I always do and that has worked really good. I will take a smaller brush and take the hunt, this one, this one, and put it in my crease as well just to like getting it a little bit darker. I hope that this works. And it felt like this was a lot of a 
don't know. A lot of fall outs. Kick up, kick back. I never know what to call it. I can never remember. But these work good together. Maybe should I just do like an easy squeezy land on PCI? Maybe I should. And if you also want to know why I bought a new camera, I filmed like... I didn't have out of focus on my old one and I have like this little remote so you can set the focus when you start. But if I like moved a little bit back, I, lost, I, I got out of focus or if I leaned a little bit forward and it like... I did three videos and all of them were a little, little out of focus. Not like a lot, but a little bit. And it annoyed me so much. So I was like, I'm angry. I'm going to buy a new camera and I bought a new camera. I really like this. I think I will just go in with... I like this pride, but it feels like a little bit boring. But I think I will go in with... I take pride this one and put it on the outer corner we'll see how this is I have now I have like never had any problems with the shimmers from Audrey the mattes though some of them it's gonna be my favorite but this far I like this Okay, I think I want to do a faux cut crease actually. So, I'm gonna brush for it here, I thought, but that was a. Yeah, here. So, I will do a faux cut crease and then I think I will go in with pro. These are very, very. Um, moosey. If you have tested out some other palettes from Menardry, you know, some of their shimmery ones are very moussey. I think I'm going to take this one. That was Prowl. Just go in with pride a little bit. Take like over here. I have nothing against this shade. Feels like it doesn't picking up as much as I want to. I usually don't have any troubles at all with Linda Holberg brushes. And especially not this one to pick up shimmer shades. It just feels a little bit like hard. It's it is working. It is, but a little bit of struggle maybe. Okay, so I think that I go with this. I just want to take shade a little bit on this one as well then put my little bit down here so okay I think I will go with the eyeshadow like this I I'm, I think it's good maybe it's nothing like super fun okay I want to do one more thing I just remember I want to go in with Mighty Roar, this dark one, and put it on my outer corner. But maybe this will not show. Let me try it. So I don't know how dark this is going to be. It looks a lot darker than Pride, but it's maybe isn't. I don't know if it made any difference at all. I will take away the fallouts, fix my base and fill in my brows a little bit and 
then I come back, we do the under eyes, and I'm maybe going to try to spice it up a little bit with the under eyes. So I fix that, and then I come back for the under eyes. Okay, so face is on, and on my under eyes, I think I maybe want to go in with either the green one or this one. Maybe we should take this water, water, watering hole. Just pop it under there to have something. Maybe this is a stupid idea. Maybe. We will see. And I don't know if this is supposed to be green or blue. Or teal or turquoise or what is supposed to be. Okay, so with a watering hole on, I want to take something in my waterline. And I think I'm maybe going to take a teaspoon to connect it with a watering hole. Or, yeah. I take a teaspoon. And this is from Colourpop, if you didn't know. So, okay, for my lips, I took Colourpop and Sophia Nygaard's screamer and I think it's so hard to like get a perfect lip line with a bullet lipstick but yeah this is my first impression with a killer pearl from Menagerie Cosmetics and I have nothing to complain about with shadows Menagerie do they have my absolute favorite formula when it comes to eyeshadows no do I hate it no, I do not. Do I think it's good? Yes. Do I think it's... I think it's good shadows and I think this palette, the shades I tried at least, and I tried... Did it Try... Cub, Hunt, Pride, Prowl, Watering Hole, and Mighty Roar. They all worked good, nothing to complain about with some of these shades, so I like this palette. It is not going to be my absolute favorite palette, it is not. Um, I don't hate it, I have nothing against it at all, I think it's a good palette. I don't know though if I would have bought it if it wasn't Menagerie because this... I have been a little bit more picky when it comes to buying eyeshadows when I had my Loba year last year. But I think it's a good palette. And yeah, if you like your color story and want to try Menagerie Cosmetics, buy it. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to say. So yeah, that was my first impression of the Killer Pearl. Still hate the name though. Please tell me what you think about the look and please tell me what you think about the quality of this video, how the setting is and everything. Um, I am not an expert when it comes to cameras. I am like a newbie. I knew some things. I'm bettering at photo, taking photos than recording videos. But yeah. That was all for this video, I really hope you liked it and if you don't subscribe to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!